Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. It's my favorite mug. It's got nice, but it's not something I feel. That's my pilot certificate. Count on Doro. Cheese! How I love cheese! I better grab this last piece before Keto finds it. It's a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind the suspiciously low price. Cow Nando, those gas and charter covers all of your fuel and truck. Call 994. Hey, 99450. I knew painting these folders would pay off. Hello, Professor. This is Lena. Calm down. Calm down. What's happened? Good God. Did they steal anything? No, that's all right now that we have the book. Don't worry. I know just the place to hide. This plane of yours, does it fly? Of course, lady. She's as good as new. Wanna air at your service. Great. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here she is. A precious airplane. Come on in and check out the insides. What do you think, lady? A beauty, isn't she? Yes, yes. It's very uh, charming. But can you get her airborne? Airborne? Are you crazy, lady? This plane hasn't flown for decades. One moment, please. You gotta help me out here. We need this money so bad and you know it. One flight and our debt to the power company will be long gone. You think you can get her running? I have no idea. Do you still think you can fly her? Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, Buana. Let's give it a shot. That's the spirit. Of course we can get her airborne. Great. That's what I wanted to hear. 
Just give us a couple minutes to do some tiny touch-ups and then we'll be on our way. A couple of minutes? Tiny touch-ups? Yeah, what's the big deal, man? What are we missing? Well, for starters, we have no engines. Oh. And we're missing a propeller too. Also, we're gonna need something to steer with. No worries, man. You get started while I go find the missing junk, okay? Okay, mon. Good luck part hunting. A pair of engines, a propeller, and something to steer with. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. Nice fun! Hmm, if only I could get it down somehow so I could use it as a propeller. It's empty. It's a picture of me and Kaunan Dodo back when he was around. <laughs> I remember it as if it was yesterday. Old Kaunan Dodo didn't care how scared I was. I was going to learn how to fly that plane, no matter what. Nice candles! We used to have them lit all the time back in the day when Kaunan Dodo was around. Nice candle! We used to when Kaunan. It's full to the brim with moth eaten clothes. Yuck! Hey, here's a shirt that stayed more or less intact. Looks like it fits me too. I'll keep it. So that's where we hid our paintbrush. Pale as a bone it is. Time for sleep. It's full of dried pressed herbs. I don't need that. Lots of old books on language and mythology. No need for them now. Those old children's books. They were great, but I don't think I need them now. It's an old moth eaten shirt. I can't reach it with that. I can't reach it with that. Oh, I'd love a nap. But I'm not quite sure Lena would approve right now. Nah, I already got the cheese. Trust me, it was the only thing worth picking from the fridge. Don't mess with the cheese, man. This brush is no fun without paint. I'd love to decorate this. It's an old bucket of white paint. I don't need that. Hmm, this would be a lot more fun if I had some paint to go with it. Let's dip it white. There we go, man. That should stick nice to the insides of my pockets. Hey, we got power now. Let's not pick at it. Hey, puppy! Yikes! Ah, 
This silly dog won't let me pass. Rufus gets fed all day. I'm not wasting my food on him. I bet I can scare him away with something though. That would be a lot more fun. I'm not wasting my cool stuff on Rufus. I'm not wasting my cool stuff. Oh there, you salty sea dog. Key kid, you can relax with the salty sea lingo on us. We are sophisticated sailors, we! Sophisticated! That's what I always said! <laughs> Never mind him. He's had a few too many. So what's on your mind, kid? You didn't bother a hungry sailor in the middle of his meal without a real good reason, did you? Of course not, man. I just had a couple of questions. Shoot! How's the stew tonight? Oh, it's off the charts, kid. Ain't nothing like a fine stew to warm a sailor's cold bones after a long trip. Woo! It's crazy spicy, though. These chilies are killing me. Chilies? You don't like them? I love chilies. Hey, you can have them, kid. Woo, go ahead. Thanks, man. <laughs> Be careful with those. They can knock an elephant out stone cold. What ship are you on? We're on the fine vessel, MS Corollo. Oh, she's in port over the night for repairs. Caught some bad wind on the last run. But she'll be fine again by tomorrow, and then we set sail again. Sails? Figure a speech, lad. We can set engine if you prefer it. Never mind, mon. Not gonna disturb your soup. No worries, kid. I'm not wasting my cool stuff on Rufus. Don't mess with the cheese, man. Hey, puppy. Yikes! That silly old dog's always blocking that door. Hey, Matoki, can I grab one of your mud jugglers? Oh, sorry, Buana. I'd love to share, but me and McKenna have this deal, you know. If she catches me handing out her jugglers for free, there's going to be hell to pay. You're gonna have to get your own. Hey, Matoki. How you doing, man? Hi there, Buona. I got all I ever wish from life here. Good cooking and a proper fishing spot. What a beautiful evening. Not a rat in sight. Rat? Oh, yes, I'm terrified of rats, lad. That's why I be resting me limbs here, you know. They just can't get to me no matter how much they skip about. That's mighty clever, man. Say, that's a nice fishing pole you got there. Yep, trusty as heck. Caught me a 12-pound mud yuggler the other day. Wow! Wow, indeed, I'm quite proud. Would you let me borrow your pole for a while? No way, not for a second. Only thing ever separated me from my pole are those pesky rats. And I ain't never getting near those things again. You never know when a slice of cheese will come in handy. 